Hi guys, Pete and Roxy with you here today and in this video we talk all things galactic. We talk about what the actual Palladian ship that we take clients up to is like, what some of our students have experienced when they've learnt themselves how to go up to this Galactic Federation ship and some of the amazing stories from people who have had incredible healings using the med beds and through accessing higher galactic consciousness. It's a good one today, so stay tuned. So guys, for those of you who are new to our channel, please like and subscribe, particularly if you are into spiritual awakening, consciousness, ETs, the galactic, because that is what we are passionate about, helping other light workers to raise their consciousness, to elevate and to be able to connect through to galactic consciousness, to light beings. There is consciousness wanting to help humanity at this time. During this time of shift and change, we are getting so much galactic support. We're getting help from higher vibrational beings wanting to guide humanity through this changing, shifting process. And that is what we love. That is the sort of thing which gets us excited to be able to share this information and of course, see other people heal and grow and elevate. And recently we did a session with some of our private students on helping them to be able to take their friends, their relatives up to the med bed to connect in and work with the Pleiadians, the Arcturians, the Syrians, whoever it may be, and do these healing sessions and get these upgrades. But in this class, specifically the one I'm referring to, we talked about the ship, right? We talked about what's it actually like when you're there and what sort of experiences you're going to uh, feel and tap into. And some of the similarities between what we're experiencing and what our own students were experiencing or even just a client from around the world who's on a med bed healing experience with us says to us when they go, oh my gosh, this feels like vaguely familiar. It's like I've been here. I was taken here at night while I was asleep or I've had dreams about this place. This is like crazy, you know. And the more we hear it, the more we're going, whoa, you know, we're tapping into something quite profound here. But this thing is something which a lot of people are able to relate to, right? Yeah, and it was so interesting um, this morning, like Pete said, we were um, teaching our class to our private students and we were showing them uh, a map of the ship. And, um, you know, I've been shown all uh, of the ship and um, I'm sure there's more to come as well, but there's four levels of the ship and we're operating on the level two, which is uh, really interesting. That's where a lot of the advanced technologies are and the Pall Palladians and other uh, high frequency beings are and uh, the control helm. So it's a holographic control home helm um, to travel interdimensionally through the galactic in this universe. So uh, we were sharing a surgery room on this level and, and one of our students shared an incredible story. Oh yeah, all of us on the call were all like, whoa, um, uh, the, the partner had had a, quite a horrific injury and was rushed to hospital and went into surgery. And as, as this person was coming out of out of uh, out of the surgery and sort of coming to, the first words out of this person's mouth was telling everyone in the room, hey, hey, keep it down, be quiet, be quiet. And what it was, was this person was actually during that whole surgery being taken on, on a ship and had this experience of being worked on by the ETs, having specialists doing a healing operation of such on the person's injury. Now, this person's gone on to now be um, one of the, like, I guess, biggest examples of how someone can recover from this sort of horrific injury. In other words, they've just recovered so well that they kind of have remapped and redefined some of the old paradigms around how well someone can heal from this sort of injury, 
even to the point now where the patient, because the person's now had approximately 18 different surgeries for this big condition that they've had after this trauma. And the person even makes suggestions to the doctor on ways moving forward that they might be able to help the condition to recover and to improve. And the person who was not into ETs, not into consciousness, not into any of this stuff before this injury, hadn't even really had any sort of an awakening. They were just a person who had an injury, but on awakening from their anesthetic and having it all wear off, all of a sudden was having all these memories of being on a ship, having ETs working on this condition and the person's, um, you know, what you would call um, a case study for Australians who have had this sort of injury and they can describe the ship and they can describe what the beings were like, the technology that they were using. And today in our class, we were sharing the plan that Roxy really got in a download of like the ship that we go to. And this person's put up their hand and gone, oh my goodness, what you're describing, I have heard of before from my partner who shares with me these knowings that they have about this place. And the similarities are like uncanny. And we, we were all sort of sitting there going like, oh my goodness, it's like another reinforcement of things that we get often just with a client who says, I feel like I've been to this place you guys are describing. And a lot of people who are new to this, if you're like kind of new to it, but you've had a feeling like something's trying to connect through to you or you get taken somewhere at night in your sleep state and you feel like you're getting upgrades or work done on you or you're getting messages at night in your sleep state, we're here to say that you can learn to connect better to this and you probably are trying to get contacted. You probably are if you've ever had this feeling that like they're trying to give you some sort of message as to what your purpose is or um, how to tap into some sort of a mission or a way of finding your fulfillment or purpose to do with connecting to your soul and to the divine. Guys, you're not alone, right? There are a lot of people like this who aren't just having, any, having some sort of awakening it is a spiritual awakening. It's a soul awakening of you not just intellectually realizing you're a spark of the divine and you're a soul living in a, a human physical vessel experiencing what it's like to be human. <laughs> you are actually got a lot more than just experiencing what it's like to be human here. We've got a shifting time going on in this planet. We've got the time of ascension where humans are learning to shift from 3D, experience the wonder of 4D if they choose to, and hopefully get themselves into that 5D, right? Yeah, that's right. It's very profound. We love teaching. We love sharing and then having students going, I've been here before because it happened. A, it's happened a few, a few times now which is really exciting but um yeah if you want to learn more about how you can learn about the galactic ets galactic history raising your frequency you can find us at awakening.education and uh, we'll put the links below and we'll talk to you again soon bye